Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining us today. We are talking Tesla and electric vehicle charging today and joining us is Luke from LME EV Charging. Good morning, Luke. Morning, Tom. Thank you very much for having me. No worries, Luke. Thanks for joining us. Uh, now, Luke, you are a recommended Tesla installer. Uh, what does that mean exactly? Uh, basically, mate, our goal is just to give um, Tesla clients the best charging solutions at their home. Mm, perfect. And um, what areas of Sydney do you cover? So we're based in Bagala, near Manly on the Northern Beaches. We cover pretty much from Palm Beach to the city, um, all of Northern Beaches, North Shore, to the eastern suburbs and inner west. Mm. So quite a large area of Sydney. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you've got quite a bit of history with Tesla itself, don't you? Yeah, so we we're fortunate enough, we kind of fell in with Tesla about eight years ago, working for a client of ours in Bagala. Um, and her brother, uh, Rudy Tusk, was bringing Tesla to Australia at the time. Um, he had a charger, asked us to install it at his sister's house, which we did. And fortunately, he was very impressed with the quality of work and then asked us to um, come on board there. And since then, we've had a very successful eight year partnership with Tesla. Fantastic. Mm. Well, let's get on to uh, actual uh, installation itself. Uh, have you got a ballpark figure of what clients can expect to pay? Yeah, so look, it does vary depending on whether they've got single phase or three phase charging, uh, the size of the circuit thereafter, which determines the speed of charging, but also their existing electrics. Obviously, an old house, we do need to bring, um, do some upgrades to the board to make it comply with current Australian code. Um, but generally speaking, the Tesla installs range from anywhere from I'd say six hundred uh, to two thousand dollars. Okay, roughly speaking, yeah. So factors in, uh, affecting the price would be obviously things like how far away the meter board is from the garage or yeah, carport. correct. So length of run um, and then access available. Sometimes it's quite simple. Um, if you've got a meter box on the other side of the wall to the garage and it's straight through, that's where it could be a six hundred dollar single phase install. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case and we do need to do some work to the board and running the circuit to the desired charger location can be a little bit tricky. Yep. And obviously, if clients want three phase, which will give you a faster charging rate, as you said, yep. then obviously, if it don't, they don't have three phase, then you've got to run it from the street as well. Yeah, look, we can do all that, the upgrades. And also, even if it's a single phase upgrade, if a house is already kind of exceeding its uh, maximum demand, we then can't legally put in additional circuits and run a charger from their house. So there are times, but look, we can take care of that whole process and um, it's pretty seamless. Okay, wonderful, that sounds very easy. Um, does the brand of the charger affect the cost as well? Like, you know, Tesla uh, charger versus like a third party generic brand? Yeah, look, generally speaking, the client will supply the charger itself. We always recommend, well, well Tesla. If you've got a Tesla car, you get a Tesla charger. And for what the Tesla charger is and for the price, it's the best quality. Um, and most affordable charger on the market, I believe. Yep. Yeah. And um, the actual installation process itself, uh, how long does it actually take? Is it a day job? Yeah, generally we try and complete the install in a day. Um, depending on the size of the job, we can have one staff member there up to three or four, uh, but we try and minimize in, you know, the disturbance to the client and um, yeah, aim to get it done in a day. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what about the actual um, downtime with the electrical? So like. How, how long will the electricity be down for the client? Yeah, so that's another thing we try and manage. So we'll do all the works um, possible without turning power off. So running the circuit, getting the charger mounted, obviously isolator on the wall, um, and then we leave the works at the distribution board or the meter box last, and then try and minimize that to about an hour's time, yeah. Okay, now it's not too bad. So for those working at home, it's not too much of a disturbance. No, right? not at all. No, and we're working with the client. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is apartment living. Um, have you done mm. many apartments? Yeah, we have, and, and that can prove fairly tricky at times. But again, there's always a solution. Um, but one thing uh, that's very important, obviously, is you get body corporate or strata approval before mm. you start the works. Um, but generally speaking, no real issues. Um, yeah, we've certainly haven't come across any situations where it's impossible to put a charger in. Okay, so the actual technical aspects of it is not too hard. No. Do, do you help clients with the actual approval process? Because that's like that can be quite difficult sometimes. Yeah, look, so what we do is we do a very detailed quotation. We don't do diagrams as such, but if it's a little more complex, I'll come out to site and basically walk the owner or the strata manager through the job and just give them an example of the conduit or the cable tray that we're going to install. Um, so yeah, we try and help there where possible. It yep. can be quite a drawn out process though, unfortunately at times. Yeah, so I've heard as well from uh, many of our viewers. Mm. Um, so I guess, okay, once you've got it installed in the apartment, the other issue is also, I guess, um, you know, the actual billing process, you know, obviously if you live in a body corporate or a strata, 
some people may not like you charging and using electricity from the basement car park, for example. Are there yeah. products out there that can help with that? Yeah, there are, and there's, um, there's also some meters that we can install which can be um, put in place. So power usage is billed to the client. But look, ideally, we always try and um, run the circuit from the owner's um, own meter, so mm. there's no confusion or complications there. Yep, perfect. So it is possible to retrofit a charger in an old apartment building, basically? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. And I believe there's a new version 3 or a generation 3 Tesla charger as well. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, and that's a universal charger. So the Tesla charger can then charge um, any car, which mm. is fantastic. So very smart chargers. Yeah, and it's Wi-Fi uh, controlled and monitored as well. So you yeah. can find out how much the client's actually using, which is yeah. handy for Strata. Yeah, correct. And we can also um, upgrade uh, apartment buildings internet with things like wireless access points and yeah, obviously make their um, internet far stronger. Mm. All right, Luke, well, thank you so much for joining us today and for uh, such an interesting conversation. I'm sure a lot of our viewers who are uh, new Tesla owners will be looking to an electrician uh, to install a wall charger for them in their house. Pleasure, Tom. Thanks a lot for having us. And if we can help anyone out there, please feel free to contact us at LME. The number is 0404 834 149 or 0424 758 583. Ask for myself or Isaac or email address luke at lmeelectrical.com.au. Thank you, Luke. I'll leave those details as well in the description below for you guys to check out. Any questions, please uh, drop Luke a, a text or an email uh, or leave a comment below and I'll pass those messages on to Luke. All right, Luke, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. You man. And guys, take care and I'll see you next time. Thank Happy you. charging.